Did you know it could potentially become more difficult to buy property, particularly acreage in waterfront in Prince Edward Island due to some changes at IRAC? What's IRAC? IRAC is Island Regulatory Appeals Commission, and you can find them at irac.pe.ca. IRAC essentially was established to control the prices of everything from oil to rents to land, electricity, and a number of other things. All the information's on their website. So essentially, in the past, if you were a non-resident of PEI, someone that doesn't live here, doesn't have resident status, and you were buying property as an individual that was over five acres of land or 165 feet of frontage, you would have to go through an application process, which typically meant you had to put a 1% fee down of the purchase price and make an application to buy that property. Well, they're changing something that's gonna affect things in a big way. And what they're changing is, in the past, you're able to have multiple people on that deed, which a lot of times would circumvent and no longer require an IRAC application. For instance, a married couple now would have an allowance of 320 feet of frontage and 10 acres and so on and so forth. Some of these sales may have eight, 10, 12, 14 different buyers. They're not doing anything illegal, they're following the law, and in a lot of these cases, they're just buying the property as a group. So what IRAC is talking about doing is they're gonna remove the multiplication effect. So it doesn't matter whether you have one people or a hundred on the deed, you'll no longer be able to circumvent IRAC. You'll have to pay the fee. You have to go through the application process, which is pretty simple and easy, especially if you're using a decent lawyer. I do not advise you do it yourself. And most of the time you're gonna be successful. The stats are all online. There's tons of articles. If you just Google cbc.ca followed by lands or a uh, IRAC, Island Regulatory Appeals Commission, that will fill you in more. But that is one of the changes. The second change they're talking about is they're talking about typically businesses. Businesses can be sold in two ways, an asset sale or a share sale. So this is a corporation we're talking about, not a sole or a joint proprietorship or whatever. So these corporations that could own, say, 100, 200, 300 acres of land, in the past, according to a number of lawyers, you did not have to go through IRAC because you're buying shares of the company, no different than me buying shares of Apple. However, if you're buying the assets, getting back to the uh, Apple uh, analogy, I'm not buying the buildings, I'm not buying the land or the manufacturing facilities, I'm simply buying shares of that company. So in the past, how they've gotten around IRAC is they've bought all the shares of the corporation, and then now they own the land, which is the assets contained within the corporation. Uh, for more information on this, you probably wanna to talk to your accountant, because I'm not one, but that's basically how it works. So these changes should be coming soon, and I'm sure CBC will report on them. Uh, in closing, be sure to check out IRAC's website. There's a lot of great information on there, and probably the biggest tip I can give you is if you type in the PID number, of a property that you're looking at purchasing under the LPA database, Lands Protection Act database, it will tell you the past history of that land. And if IRAC has done anything to preclude uh, development in the form of an identification, which is covered in some of my other videos. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it. If you have any comments about PEI real estate or PEI in general, put them in the comments below.